The back rooms. You've been here before. Yellow. You awakened in mono-yellow hallways, rife with the stink of old carpet and stagnant air. You walked for a long time, but found no one, only stretch after stretch of yellow wallpaper and the ever-present humbuzz of fluorescent lights. Your feet began to ache, but you had to press on, even if only little by little, step after step. You had to keep moving, and there was no alternative. The lights on the ceiling blinked on with a monotonous rhythm. High to low, high to low. A tint of amber, a second of dimness, before the walls brightened, returned to yellow. You broke into a run, hoping to find any sign of progression, any indicator that you weren't just traveling in circles. You looked, but there was nothing to see. You cried, but there was no one to hear. Only the monochrome of the walls. Only the apathy of the lights. Only mile after mile of constructed random lists that led nowhere. It was all there was. It was all there was left, but you had to keep moving. Gray, I had an awful dream. Gray, the room was dark, and for a moment, you were unsure whether your eyes were open at all. Rain pounded against the rooftop, its steady ambience nearly drawing you back into a state of stupor. The wind's howl rang on, accompanied by a strike of thunder crashing down in the distance. Amidst the cacophony, you caught the faint breathing of your parents somewhere within the room. They snored softly, undisturbed by the rain. Around you was warmth. As the faintest of outlines surfaced within your vision, you saw the cheap, incandescent light dangling from the ceiling. An inverted teardrop nested within linen. To your right was the little window, covered by tan linen blinds that obstructed the light. The duvet was cozy, with that cedar, homely smell that soothed your worries for a full night's rest. At some point, you became aware of the hard object digging into your side. Your hand found a smooth, cool surface your fingers sliding it out of your pocket. Lifting the duvet, you looked at the faint shape of your phone, flat and unassuming. Suddenly, the screen burst with light and you scrambled into motion, pulling the duvet over your head. Secure under the thick covers, you turned your attention to the home screen, displaying a notification for a new message. After a moment of hesitation, you tapped on the notification, watching the phone unlock. One new message. Yellow. Oh, Wanderer. Yellow. Did you really think you'd escaped? Level 686F6D65. Home. Survival difficulty. Class unknown. Mysterious properties, unknown information, undocumented entities. Level 686F6D65 is a warm, darkened environment, possessing potent communitinibri properties. Those who find themselves within this level first awaken lying in bed, under the mistaken impression that their experiences within the back rooms were merely a dream. Image caption, warmth, gray. Your heart pounded as you stared at the message, finger hovering uncertainly over the screen. Description, in the regrettable occurrence that you find yourself stranded within level 686F6D65, it is essential to grasp the gravity of the situation and respond with prompt and judicious measures. Yellow, as you read this, pay attention and maintain absolute silence. You've landed yourself in quite the sticky situation. Begin by assessing your room. It is plausible that you may still be in a state of drowsiness. Yet, it is important to identify anomalies present in your surroundings. 
keep in mind that they may not always be immediately recognizable or conspicuous. Gray. A sudden urge besought you to check for gaps in the duvet, but that would mean moving and potentially letting them know you're there. Gray. The breathing beside you has gone eerily quiet. Perhaps you should turn around, look behind you. Gray. But you can't. Maintain vigilance for instances of distorted or unsettling imagery, objects positioned in atypical locations, and the presence of ocular manifestations where they are incongruous or deviant from expected anatomical placement. Gray. Your chest felt too hot, and your hands too cold. It was as if a cloud of dread had enveloped your head, plunging your body into a cold sweat. Multiple joints ached in protest, straining from your hunched position. When have you frozen up? It hardly matters now. Instead, you focused on the cool metal surface pressing into your palm. Gray. Your hands trembled. You gripped your phone tighter. During the process of observing the aforementioned anomalies, it is advised to ascertain that they do not direct their gaze towards your own presence. Yellow. Worst case scenario, your bedroom window is now on your right. In that case, don't leave the bed. Your best bet is to keep pretending to be out cold. Subsequently, proceed to verify the current time by referring to a reliable timekeeping device. Should your mobile phone display daytime hours while the external atmosphere exhibits an inky blackness, refrain from engaging in any actions that may draw attention to yourself. Yellow. Despite appearances, you're not alone in there. Here's to hoping we don't receive any interference, though the odds aren't looking too good on that one. Luck hardly falls in your favor, wouldn't you agree? Yellow. You're so quick to despair. We'll figure something out. You may perceive auditory stimuli resembling the voices of your parents within the confines of the room. Although it may provide a sense of reassurance, it is pertinent to note that such occurrences do not bear favorable implications or outcomes. Yellow. You could try sneaking to the other side of the room, flick the light switch, and pray that it's still the same place as you remember. If the light turns on, then it'll be chipper. Within the context of nightmares, it is noteworthy that the functionality of illumination sources, such as lights, is consistently impeded or non-functional. Yellow. On the other hand, if nothing happens, then this might be exactly what it appears to be. What a shame, wouldn't it be? Yellow. What an absolute shame. In the event that the latter circumstance transpires, it is advised to vacate the designated area and descend the staircase. Exercise vigilance to avoid potential accidents due to diminished illumination. Gray. Thunder crashed down in the dark. You jumped, stifling a yelp into your sleeve. Beside you, the blanket stirs. Upon reaching the ground floor, disregard any disconcerting auditory stimuli originating from the ceiling. These noises may encompass a range of manifestations, including but not limited to unintelligible whispers or voices, groaning akin to structural strain, dripping or leaking indicative of fluid seepage, sudden thuds suggestive of objects falling or being displaced audible footsteps that exhibit an increasing proximity effect, and creaking noises reminiscent of snapping bones. Upon arrival in the living room, systematically activate the light switches one after another. Yellow. Message unsuccessful. Encountered error code 686-F6-D65. Please see your network distributor for more information. Gray. You sat paralyzed beneath the sheets, watching the throbber spin around and around. Drawing in breaths felt hard, breathing felt hard, and it crossed your mind that the oxygen might be running out beneath the duvet. Gray, your fingers moved to the keyboard, and you flinched at the subsequent clacking sounds. They echoed through the room, 
and you prayed that the rain had been loud enough to drown them out. Yellow. You. Help. Gray. The sheets around you shifted. Someone is breathing. Someone is wheezing. Is that something cold blowing against your neck? You watched the throbber spin, breathing too fast but not enough. You counted seconds by heartbeats, yet the loading animation showed no sign of progress. Something is snapping, one by one. Gray. The rain whispers, just barely too quiet for you to make out. Inclement weather is currently present in the external environment in the form of a thunderstorm, a meteorological phenomenon characterized by heavy rain, strong gusts of wind, or a combination thereof. Inclement weather is currently present in the confines of the interior spaces in the form of gray. You wield your limbs to move, sliding back down onto your back. Blood pounded in your ears, and you couldn't be sure if the thumping nearby could be attributed to the rainstorm, some unknown factor, or simply your own heartbeat. Despite your every instinct, you readied your hand on the phone lock, then slowly pulled the duvet away with your free hand. It is worth exploring the enigmatic aspects of what lies within your immediate area, Direct your attention towards the space behind your current position. Gray. The phone screen flickered, then shut with a click, leaving you alone in the dark. In the event of the aforementioned actions failing to yield the desired outcome, it is recommended to remove any messages that elicit distress or unease, ensuring the elimination of content that could cause negative emotional responses. It is imperative to acknowledge that there exists no rational basis for trepidation, as, after all, this is your home, and there is no need to be afraid. Only you can help yourself. Message unsuccessful. Encountered error code. <laughs> 